வெல்கம் ராஜராஜேஸ்வரி பீட்டம் இன் ராஜஸ்தர் அண்ட் டுவெண்டி டூ அசோசியேட்டட் பீட்டம் இன் த நார்த் அமெரிக்கன் கான்டினென்ட் ஸ்ப்ரெட் ஆல் தி வே ஃப்ரம் கலிஃபோர்னியா டு ஃப்ளாரிடா டு பாஸ்டன் வி வெல்கம் யூ ஹியர் அண்ட் குருஜி ஹூ இஸ் அவர் ஃபவுண்டர் அண்ட் ஹஸ் கண்டினியூ டு பி த பேட்ரன் ஆஃப் திஸ் ஆர்கனைசேஷன் needs no introduction but for those of you who have not had the privilege of meeting him in person before i will give you a brief introduction guruji hails from andhra pradesh the southern state in india his uh, native place is vishakhapatnam and at the moment 45 miles 45 kilometers from the shakapatnam he is engaged in building a temple university the temple is in the form of a sri chakra mahameru which is the three dimensional form of the chakra that you see behind me and it is the only one of its kind anywhere in the world the project was started 9 years ago yeah 84 1984 Seven years. The Meru itself is 54 feet high and the main deity has already been installed somewhere last year, in June last year. Guruji has been visiting the United States since December 1990 and he is due to leave shortly back for home. Guruji has a background of uh, physics, pure physics. He was engaged in research for 26 and a half years in India uh, at an institute called Institute for Institute of Fundamental Research in Bombay and <clears throat> after he resigned from the institute he came over to Zambia as professor of physics in the university there and that is where I had the privilege of coming into contact with him and he has been visiting the united states from 1985 and this is your fourth visit and we thought we would take this opportunity of uh, listening to him speak on i don't know what topic he's going to choose but whatever it is it will be interesting and at the end of it if anyone would like to ask questions of him you will be free to do so thank you thank you haran swami ji would you like to say any words before okay all right and okay. <clears throat> i am awed by this august audience we have many intellectuals here we are renunciates from the holy shankaracharya order of shringeri and we have devotees who are doing serious sadhana and we have plain simple human beings to which category i belong so i am honored to speak in front of you so i need some strength to speak in front of you so i'll invoke the devi saraswati onto my tongue so it what is in my heart is on the tongue om prano devi saraswati ஜேபிர்வாஜினீபதி தீனாம் அவித்ரியவத்து ஹரி ஓம் ஸ்ரீகுருபோன்னம ஹரி ஓம் அயம் முஹூர்த்தசுமுஹூர்த்தோ அஸ்து
the world we live in today is a world of contrasts sometimes we wonder while seeing the trees and not the forest whether the humanity is proceeding in the proper direction when we see that some of the major decisions affecting the peace prospects in this world being taken in a fashion which perhaps leaves room for improvement we all share a concern in this we share a concern for the way we are treating our mother nature and we ought to be doing something about that in a more positive sense than we have been doing before we as individuals sometimes feel insecure anxious fraught with fear not knowing how to resolve our own problems let alone dealing with the problems of the world the question arises in our minds if we want to leave the world a little better place when we leave it than when we entered it what is the way that we should start going about where does the, this process begin and how does this process spread let me start with an example one of the first realizations i had was when i was standing in front of a mirror i was seeing myself reflected in the mirror and i smiled and the mirror image smiled i laughed and the mirror image laughed and i cried and the image cried after a little while i was wondering whether i am seeing my image in the mirror or my image in the mirror is seeing me who is the real me whether it's located in front of the mirror here or behind the mirror and then a train of thought followed this i started talking with myself supposing i wear a bowler hat and the image would have a bowler hat in it and supposing i was like ravanasura the demon king who had 10 heads and standing in front of the mirror then that image would have the 10 heads if i imagine myself to be mahakali with 10 heads 20 hands and 20 legs and standing in front of the mirror i would see myself with 10 heads 20 hands and 20 legs supposing i was 
ten people myself, ten separate individuals, and I stood in front of the mirror. Then I would see ten different people as my own reflection. One step further, if I was the world myself, and I stood in front of a mirror, what I would see is the world as my own reflection. However many number of people it has, however many cars it has got, how many, however many highways, however many suns, galaxies, stars, however many trees, it is all a reflection of myself. Then I understood that my mind was a mirror, so pure that it was reflecting myself to me and I happen to be the cosmos and I am seeing myself. So in this moment of realization, mm, there is an equation between me and the world that I am seeing. The world is mirroring me. If there are parts in me that I do not like, then those would be the parts in the world which I see which I am not liking. If I want to see the world in a better way, then I must start improving the parts inside of me, so that they could be reflected in the world in a better way. Then I realized that any process of change must begin with who? Myself. The process of change begins with you. You are the center of the world. You are the world. For a moment, a little fear grabbed me. Am I all alone in this world? Is there nothing else beside this world in, uh, in other than me? This uh, feeling of absolute loneliness, that there is nothing else besides you in this whole world and this whole world is just a mirror of yourself and it is born inside of you, it is growing inside of you. All the multiplicity, all the differences that you see are like a dream which have arisen in your mind's eye and they are going to vanish like a dream in your mind's eye. I am the container of the universe. If you want to prove that A contains B, what would you do? Deny A and see if B can exist. So if I want to prove that I contain the universe, then what do I do? I deny myself and see if the universe exists. The universe existence of the universe is conditional to my existence. The first reality is reality of my thoughts. The world out there is a derived reality from this uh, thoughts. If thoughts are imaginary, the world which is derived from this set of thoughts cannot be a higher reality than the thoughts themselves. Am I with you? So the process of uh, bringing about a change, if I want, 
in the dream that I am seeing must start with a better dream. I must start dreaming a better dream. I must make believe to myself that I must create a reality which comes from within my own self and this reality becomes the model for its happening outside. Is it not this function of a management that you make a prophecy and make that prophecy come true? You have a dream. The great presidents of America had a dream and they worked for it and they made those dreams come true. You and I every one of us can have our dreams and make them come true. We must understand that every one of our dreams are going to manifest themselves. Now or a little later. How soon they are going to manifest? How well? depends upon the clarity of our thinking, the clarity of our projection into this. So, the process of change has to begin from within ourselves and we have to start having a better dream. <coughs>